Does hunting help or hurt the environment? The answer to this question depends on who is asked. Scientific American, 2018 Scientific American, a division of Nature America, Inc. Dear Earth Talk, hunting seems to be a real controversy among environmental advocates. Can you set the record straight? Is hunting good or bad for the environment? Like so many hot button issues, the answer to this question depends upon who you ask. On the one hand, some say nothing could be more natural than hunting, and indeed just about every animal species, including humans, has been either predator or prey at some point in its evolution. And, ironic as it sounds, since humans have, since humans have wiped out many animal predators, some see hunting as a natural way to diminish the herds of prey animals that, as a result, now reproduce beyond the environment's carrying capacity. On the other hand, many environmental and animal advocates see hunting as barbaric, arguing that it is morally wrong to kill animals, regardless of practical considerations. According to Glenn Kirk of the California-based The Animal's Voice, hunting causes immense suffering to individual wild animals and is unjustifiably cruel because unlike natural predation, hunters kill for pleasure. He adds that despite hunters' claims that hunting keeps wildlife populations in balance, hunters' license fees are used to manipulate a few target species into overpopulation at the expense of a much larger number of non-game species, resulting in the loss of biological diversity, genetic integrity, and ecological balance. Beyond moral issues, other contend that hunting is not practical. According to the Humane Society of the United States, a vast majority of hunted species, such as waterfowl, upland birds, morning doves, squirrels, and recruits, provide minimal nourishment and do not require population control. Arthur Gary E. Varner suggests in his book, In Nature's Interests, that some types of hunting may be moral, morally justifiable while others may not be. Hunting designed to secure the welfare of the target species, the integrity of its ecosystem or both. What Varner terms therapeutic hunting is defensible, while sport hunting, which only benefits human beings, is not. Regardless of one individual's stance, fewer Americans hunt today than in recent history. Date gathered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services for its most recent 2006 National Survey of Fishing, Hunting, and Wildlife Association Recreation show that only 5% of Americans, some 12.5 million individuals, consider themselves hunters today, down from 9% in 2001 and 15% in 1996. Public support for hunting, however, is on the rise. A 2007 survey by Responsive Management, Inc., a social research firm specializing in natural resources resource issues found that 78% of Americans support hunting today for 73% in 1995. 80% of respondents agreed that hunting has a legitimate place in modern society, and the percent of Americans indicating disapproval of hunting declined from 22% in 1995 to 16% in 2007. Perhaps matching the trend among the public, green leaders are increasingly advocating for cooperation between hunters and environmental groups. After all, both mourn urban expansion and habitat destruction.